More on plastic and pollution. I spoke earlier with Valeria Moreno. She's the vice president of Global Earth Day. It is a huge problem, and uh, I think the worst of it is that we don't know what to do with all this waste. So we're trying our best to, you know, collect it, put it in landfills, but a lot of it is ending up in the wrong places, you know, in the ocean, in our waterways, even in land, in the places where it shouldn't be. So I think the challenge is, you know, how we start doing more proactive things to tackle that problem. When you look at China, it's such a huge country, so many people, um, it, so exponentially, I guess, in a sense, it, it gets to be an even bigger problem. What are they doing uh, to try and address it? What is interesting about plastic pollution is that it is, this is an international problem, and it's a transboundary problem, so it's not containing one single country. So one of the main challenges in China is was that not only what they were consuming and producing themselves in terms of waste, but all the ways they were importing. And as you know, since 2017, the Chinese government has placed a ban on importing any type of waste plastic that is not of industrial kind. And that has already created a crisis all over the world because nobody knows what to do with their plastic waste. Uh, the United States um, you know, exported to China 70% of the plastic waste. And now we have to figure out what to do with our own plastic waste at home. I guess part of the solution is figure out ways not to be using it. Um, are we seeing any headway there? Well, I think you know what has happened with this China policy is that, in fact, is creating a paradigm shift. Now people in any country in the world, including China, cannot just think we're going to consume this, package it, and shift it somewhere else. So what it's doing is really changing the way that the whole in industry operates. And I think when there is a crisis, there is an opportunity for innovation. And I think uh, and there's many areas in which uh, we have to work on. Unfortunately, there's no one solution for the plastic pollution problem. It's a very comprehensive set of things that have to be done. And I can summarize very quickly, you know, the four areas to work on is, first of all, of course, reduce, reducing the amount of plastic that we're both producing and consuming. That doesn't seem to be happening at all. Uh, the second area is how you improve waste management because all this plastic is ending up in the wrong places is because it's not being collected properly and put in a uh, you know, waste bin and then shipped to the landfill or recycle or do something else with it. I think the third area is which the innovations really are going to happen is creating a circular economy or a zero waste economy, which means nothing that you produce is going to be turned into waste. It's going to be reused. It's going to be turned into something else. And there is where investments are happening now for new materials to be produced that can be turned into something else easily. The problem with plastic as it is today is that the majority of it cannot be recycled. Only 9% of the plastic is recycled in the world because the rest, if you, you know, mixed up everything in one single place, you know, your, your scraps from your salad with your, you know, your carton of milk with something else that you spill there, your coffee beans, and then you put your plastic in there. When it gets to the um, landfill, they cannot separate it. It's too expensive. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this plastic, because of the nature of the plastic itself, some plastic is recycled. Also the nature of the process of sending the waste to the landfill also impedes that. So if we improve ways of doing this, uh, there is a big space for reducing the amount of plastic pollution.